Brexit was the main topic of conversation as hundreds of fishermen gathered in Aberdeen for the annual Skipper Expo. The event, which has more than doubled in size since it first started in 2011, attracts exhibitors and visitors from around the world. Louise Hosier has more. Cooking up a storm. Fishermen were enjoying sampling their product rather than catching it today. Hundreds have gathered in Aberdeen for the annual Skipper Expo. Now in its ninth year, the event showcases the latest developments in the industry. Most believe it's in rude health, but there's a catch. The issue of Brexit is never far from people's lips. There's definitely frustration in the industry. I mean, it's, uh, it's gone on now three years. Uh, we learned now that the talks was broken down with Labour and Conservatives, so where's it going to go for here? Um, we just want clarity and want it sorted, get it fixed and start, start making a, a new future for us. We're, we're sick fed up of it. Can it they voted out go out. Well, we haven't, we haven't got a clue what's going to happen with Brexit. It's uh, beyond a joke now. Uh, it's taken far too long. I think everyone's just really bored of it now and hopefully we can find a deal but it doesn't seem to be going very well. Safety was also on the agenda with the Scottish Government announcing a nationwide committee is being set up to reduce the number of accidents and deaths in the sector. Well, it'll be looking at that says safety of vessels. It'll be looking at training, the efficacy of training. It'll be looking at personal safety equipment uh, which can help save lives. As he prepares to step down, the man who's led Scotland's fishermen for the past 14 years says he's leaving the industry in good shape. There are 236 separate companies exhibiting here in this business to business show and what we're taking from that is encouragement of people's optimism about the Scottish fishing industry. This is good stuff. Up to 2,000 people are expected to attend this year's expo, making it the biggest yet. Louise Hosey, STV News.